Hey guys, it's Debbie with Driftwood and Shine coming on tonight, and we are gonna, or this afternoon rather, and we're fixing to take a Dollar Tree canvas, just one, just a canvas, and we're taking some plaid paints. I'm using Tuscan Teal, Turquoise, Laguna, Bimini Blue, Caribbean, Aqua Sky, Key West, and then this one, I believe, is not. Um, this is a ceramic coat, Tropic Bay Blue. And then I'm going to be using um, khaki and latte, and then, of course, white. Okay, and we're going to paint a, a beach. And, guys, I'm going to just show you the easiest way. And we've done this before. You may have seen it, but if not, we're fixing to do it again. I'm going to point you down so that you'll be able to see the colors and... and how I do it. Okay? Alright. Now I take my darkest color. Make sure it's shook up good. And guys, all we literally do is put us a dot. And then I'm going to put one more dot here and one dot like there. No rhyme or reason. Then I'm taking turquoise, which is my next darkest color. Then we're going to take Laguna, and I don't have much of this, so. Oh, it's kind of yuck. I'm putting just, I put just a touch up there, you see, in the, the dark. And that kind of did yucky, but oh well. And then we're using Bimini Blue. This is the easiest way to paint a beach, guys. You kind of painting your colors, your 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 sea without really having to think about it. Then we're using Caribbean. And guys, I just kind of line mine up by the color and the if they're more greenish, more bluish, that kind of thing. That's how I kind of determine how I'm going to put them. And then I'll go back. You'll see me every now and then go back and put one of the lighter colors in the dark colors. And that's just because, you know, when you're at the beach, especially the ones that have the real pretty waters down close to the the sea, I mean, down close to the land, they, they, um, now I'm, I'm sorry, using aqua sky. But they change, you know what I mean? Like the waters, they change. And then we're gonna use Key West. This is one of my favorite colors. In these colors. And you know how down close to the land, it also, oops, this one's never been opened, I think. It is open, it's just the thicker. It's thicker, thicker, thicker. Y'all sprinkle this out, sprinkle, 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 please. I don't know what kind of weather y'all are having now. We had another pretty heavy downpour this morning. Not as much lightning and stuff, but it did thunder some. But for those of you that didn't hear me earlier, you know, yesterday we were having really bad weather, I told y'all. And in like um, just over two hours, we got uh, four, in four inches, 4.3 inches. I'll get that out in a minute. 4.3 inches, guys. Woo! It was raining. And then we're going to use Tropic Bay Blue. And I'm just, you can tell, I'm just going lighter. If you'll see down here on my canvas, I'm going lighter as I'm getting to the land. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do my water. Now, what I do is have me a some, a paper towel or like this is a baby wipe guys I have it close and I start with my light first and you literally just wipe all the way through it and I just wiped off just a little but I'm still just going
You see the colors of the water, how they're changing. Okay, now when you get down there where I did those dark, you want to make sure that you wipe your paintbrush off because you definitely don't want to take that dark then back up to that that light. Okay? So now all we're going to do is just go back in, and I'm just doing soft brush strokes now. I'm, try, I'm making sure that it's all filled in. Where there is no leftover canvas, we're just going to do soft brush strokes. And I keep wiping my brush off because I want, I don't want my brush, I should have on my cover that Carrie gave me. But we're just going through and kind of just wiping now. A little soft brush strokes. And I'm also not going exactly straight across like I did. I'm kind of giving it a little, like, movement in there. Has some white on down here. But now I want to go in and make sure my land is, I mean, my... Water is kind of, you know, done like that. That's awesome, guys. I'll hold it up and let you see. See how easy? How easy you can paint a beach scene? A beach, like the beach water? Now, what we have to do... Take me another baby wipe. I'm just going to wipe this paintbrush off like this. Get most of that paintbrush paint off. Then you can just wipe some off on your paper or whatever you've got next to you. And then we're going to lay out our sand. We're going to use khaki. And you kind of do the sand the same way because, you know, sand has different depths to it as you, you know, when you look at it. It's not all one color. It's got a yucky piece in it. And then we're going to use latte. And we're almost through with this beach, guys. We just got to get our sand done. And then we're going to do a little bit of um, putting us some waves and stuff in the water. And then we'll be through. I don't think I want to use that brush, though. I was going to use that brush, but I'm not going to use it. See about using this fan brush. But you still want to try to be able to wipe straight across. May have to mix a little bit of white in here even to get the color that I'm really wanting. But there again, I'm gonna wipe off my paint. After we get it, you know, all wiped out, then we can go back and make sure there's no canvas showing. But I really think I'm going to have to add a little, just a little touch of white in here. There. 
sorry. Had it over there where y'all couldn't even see it. I may put just a little touch of white in here with this brown that I have on this um, towel. Well, if I have any white in there. Because it's just a little too dark. Goodness. I had to pick my white that was just about completely out. <laughs> okay, we're getting it real light, though. For like, We want light beat sand. We don't want terribly dark sand. And then we'll just go in and, you know, sand's always kind of, it's not perfect. Okay, that could even use more white, but we'll let go. We'll let that go. Let me wipe my hands off again. Y'all know I paint with my hands. I paint with everything. <laughs> okay, now we're going to use... Um, I think I'll use that again. This is a hard brush. We're gonna put us out some white right here. Now we're just gonna get just a little bit of white on the tips of our brush, guys. Just a little bit of white on the tips of this fan brush. Then we're gonna go in, and you know how you know how there's always bubbles and whatever right at the edge. Don't get so much in your brown paint. Stay in your blue. That's kind of had time to dry a little bit. We're gonna just do this first. Make us some bubbles along this edge. Then we'll carry it on. We're just making the bubbles that are at the edge of your C. Then we're gonna make just a few. We're getting just a little bit on the edge of our paintbrush. We're gonna come in here where it, you know, kind of caps over and we're gonna carry us over some And then we're just, you're just going to keep on with your paintbrush, guys, when you're doing it until it becomes like modely looking. It's, it's still going to leave it like a bubble look. You know how waves create kind of bubbles, but it'll become more blended together. And that's what you're going for. Okay, we'll get just another. A little bit. Hmm. Let's have another one that comes right here at it. That crashes into the sea, into the land. We're just going to kind of make this one a little less formed. And then we can put us a little bit of white caps. 
out in the, the water. And you just take your fan brush And you kind of tap it and drag it. Because we want to cover up these taps. We don't want it to look so much like that. And then we're going to drag us a few in. Drag us just a few little waves in. Now let's go back. Maybe the brown has dried a little bit. We want to get a little bit more of our, our um, bubbles onto the sea. You know, because the sand is under the water sometime. So we just kind of want to carry those bubbles out a little bit but we just want to keep it white. And if you get in too much of the brown, it won't stay white. Okay, now, let's look back. I'm gonna go back out here to my, where I did my, my um, things out here and I'm just gonna add just a touch more and kinda sm smooth it. But all I'm using is my fan brush to the side. You just have to keep working with them until you've got it the way you want it, guys. That's basically all you do. It's just, and you can go back in. Let me show you something else you can do when you've got a little more. Um, I can go back in here to my not that paintbrush. Go back in here to this rag. You know where I did all my beach colors. If I don't like something, I can go back in here. Get me a little beach color on here. And look, I can just smooth back into this and make way less bubbles or, you know, for your waves. You can just spread those colors back in there. Make it real faint. Kind of take away a little bit of that. Guys, painting, the one fun thing about painting, you can just paint your heart away. And you're not set in stone to anything. You can always cover something up. Shoot, you can even go back and start over on a painting. It's never set in stone. And see, I can still go right back into my white here. And dab some more white in here. Just like, I mean, there's no set way, but I like it. That's mine. Okay, guys. There's our beach painting. Actually, we can turn it, we can even turn it up like that. Isn't that pretty? But see all the different colors in your water? I mean, and it's so easy to do it because you just go out, start off with your dots and then just pull you, and I'm getting paint all over me. Just pull your paint straight through. And that's it, guys. Um, Y'all be looking, though, because 
unless we get out of church late, I think I'm going to come live again after church. So, I'll see y'all then. All right, guys. Love you.